It's moving day. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, <All> right. my God. <laughs> Serious injury. This day's movie day has only just started and you've already picked up an injury? It's my bung knee. <laughs> it's the one you, you may recall from such a vlog <laughs> as Tongarero Crossing. <laughs> That's right. Stacey's got a bit of a limp today. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I just have like a really sore knee on this side. And I think from moving the bed and stuff yesterday. Um, don't get it close up! No, everyone's looking at it there. <laughs> Coming to an athlete near you. Futuro Compression B6. Yeah, so I just, I'm just i just putting it on for support. So even though moving day is officially today, this obviously has, has been multiple days, weeks of all sorts of stuff, but yesterday we did have to kind of, I suppose, prepare for the moving day and just tidy up our lives because it just felt like stuff was everywhere. And then it's funny when you go to move, you, you never think you have much and then you find something else. You think, oh, it's not much. Yeah, oh, oh shit, you find something else and then there's more and then there's more. This always happens when you're moving house, surely. You think you don't have much stuff and then you dig around under friends, families, houses, garages, sheds, under the stairs, cellars, whatever else, and you find suitcases and old duvets and documents and soda streams and there's some shirts and stuff there I've been looking for for a long time but just gave up on random things like this that we probably don't need. Some old, some old glasses, some like decorative skateboards and documents. In the car, we've got, we're doing a load today before the big move, which has got all of our clothes and stuff in it just full of clothes, stuff that we don't want to put into the truck when we drive it, and then these awesome frames. We bought these prints some time ago and we finally got them framed so we can stick them up in the new place. It was $56 to buy, it's not a standard size, so we've got those moving, all protected. Slow to get in there, got the screen and everything nice and tidy. I just brought that all together as one, microphone, all that kind of stuff set up. Drawers are in place so tomorrow we'll have the uh, the, the desks to put on top. You can just <laughs> see the comparison with that with that crappy room. We've just set up our new bed upstairs, so that's part of the bed base. We had the slats, we had the frame, uh, more boxes and stuff to get rid of. Uh, what have we got going on up here? Ooh, just tripped. Stace is doing Stace is doing some curtains. That's the new bed. So good, eh? Isn't the new bed awesome? Oh, oh and the new lights. Check oh, this. Yeah. Uh, Halo light. Do you want me to turn on the other one? Look at that. So much nicer. Cool, eh? We just love it. Look how mint that looks. New sheets. Same old crappy curtains, unfortunately, yeah. but at least the, 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 the window sills and everything look a lot better. We've got some stuff to unpack. Got some clothes going on. Stace has got it even <laughs> color coordinated. We thought we were kind of minimal. Nope. Yeah, we're not. We, no, I'm, I'm ready to sell a bunch of shit already. It's just like, I don't want it in my life. I haven't needed it in my life, but it's gotta go. Beep, beep, beep. Look out, here we are. This is sick. I feel like a legit truck driver and this is this is a baby truck. This is no <laughs> this is not big by any stretch, but it's got this massive steering wheel. I feel like you need to see those bus drivers go around corners and they're really working for it. That's how I feel using this thing. It's like an 18-inch tire almost. So I've left Stace back at the house. She's tidying up, she's doing the last of the boxes. We're trying to make use of our time. So while danger's off getting the truck, I'm left here packing up the last few bits in our almost empty room. Honestly, I'm like a little bit sick of packing at this point and I'm just ready to get into the new place. But people keep asking me like how I feel about it. Am I excited? Like, are you looking forward to it? And of course I am. I haven't actually really processed this. It's been such a long time coming and 
we have done so much in the lead up and the build up to it and we've been back and forth so many times that yeah I haven't really thought about the fact that last night was the last night we slept here and that we are going to start a brand new adventure today. Rather than hire a moving company and pay all of this money we don't really have that much stuff. Well we've got more than we thought but we thought the best thing that we could do is hire our own truck uh, and basically just just do all the hard yards ourselves that's kind of the attitude we've been taking with this whole renovation and everything else that we've been doing so we thought let's do it i feel like a trucky we're on the road hey beautiful your chariot awaits okay i'll come up now okay What's up, girl? Nice ride. You ready for your date? Oh, yeah. How do I even get in here? It's so tall. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh, my gosh. That's quite it's cool. It's actually though. quite a good size, eh? It's a really good size. So driving it is is actually no more difficult. In fact, I feel like the camper vans we've driven have felt way bigger. I was going to say, how do you see out the back? Yeah, there's, there's a big rear vision mirror. There's, there's two mirrors. There's three mirrors on that side. The width of the mirrors and driveways is potentially going to be an issue, but... Can they go in? Yeah, maybe. Okay. So this cost $225 and that was for 24 hours. We also reduced our excess down to only $250. So that was a little bit of an excess uh, extra. And then also we got um, a trolley. We got like three or four strops and then a bunch of blankets as well. So $225 for 24 hours. And we just do it ourselves. And it's got some get up. You ready? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Coffee time, drive through coffee, some ham and cheese toasties as well. This is the only place we could find. That looks great. Otherwise, this is one of those days that's just going to slip away and we won't eat a thing, will we? I was just joking today and I was like, us tradies, we've got to do what we've got to do when we're on the road, you know? <laughs> Luckily, we got one that's got a. Uh... Wait, did we explain what we're here? We're picking up the picking up our fridge, <laughs> our fridge and um, and dryer. But luckily, we got an electric one. Check this out. I think it goes right to the ground too. Oh, jackpot. Love it. What do you reckon, babe? That's a pretty good haul. I think we got the size right. I think so too. You reckon that's a good size? Yeah, I mean, there's still so much more room. Look yeah. The... I'm glad we don't have that much stuff. We actually had to almost start packing low for a while because we started quite high, as you can see, and then we started looking at the garage and we thought, we actually don't have enough to fill this bad boy. <laughs> that's weird. It still doesn't feel real. Nah. I'm just like, oh, where is this all going to go? <laughs> <laughs> we have to find some space. But after what feels like about six years now, five or six years of basically living out of suitcases, we, we're going to have our first night tonight in our new house. My first time, as far as I can remember, my parents will probably watch this and correct me, but my first time having a brand new bed. Woohoo! <laughs> is that weird to say at 35 years old that I've never had a brand new bed? Neglected. <laughs> <laughs> Mum and dad, I love you. Um, yeah, that's going to be our first settled night. Somewhat. You know, Somewhat. It never is quite settled no. on the first night. It'll be like takeaways on the floor. At least we're not camping on the floor. At least exactly. we've got the bed. All right. Should we do it? Just old luck that it's absolutely pissing down. Well, maybe not absolutely, but it is pissing down just as we arrive to move everything. So I've, <laughs> I've crammed it in. This is the best way. Rather than having to park here and walk all the way along through this bit, check out this, I'm coming under the trees. 
basically done like this, remember I'm Ryan. So now I can stand here and under the shelter and then I can grab a box like this, grab the smallest one I can handle. Safe? Anyway, she's gone, so we? I can squeeze it in like that. What a bloody pigsty! <laughs> that is the worst part about moving, man. So much cardboard we have to recycle. Fridge, what do you reckon? I we should sell those boxes. Um, well, I think we're gonna try and put it into the fridge area in the kitchen, but that means that we have to move a shelf mm. with the microwave and all the crockery on it, as well as the beer fridge. Yeah, it's gonna fit within there by about five, five I mil. Think we need to put it in there. But that means that we're waiting for a very long time until this kitchen gets done, which could be a couple of months. With the fridge just what randomly here, or where, did, where would you want it? <laughs> yeah, randomly here. No, we don't have a dining table. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Come on, let's try. What would you do? Would you try, or would you wait a couple of months? How many times can you say try? <laughs> try, 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 try again. The danger got his way. <laughs> we did try it over there. It just looked yeah. awkward. It might be two months. It might be like three or four before we actually get a fridge. So, I mean, Wait, a, uh, it back before you start taking everything off. Okay, let's see. I feel like I should be helping. Nah, you're good. It's on. It's on. You're gonna be able to open it. Yeah. I still want to squash the plug. It's hard to tell where that is. What can I do? Ah. A new kitchen that if my fridge fits in. <laughs> hey, it looks good though, doesn't it? I mean, the fridge is good. <laughs> it's toy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Craziest thing about this fridge is that we actually bought it sight unseen. <laughs> there was another one that we picked up on Black Friday and it was $900, no, it was $1,280 or something like that. And we saw this one in person. Um, no, it was the week before, oh, this is a terrible story. It was the week before Black Friday. The guy said to us, if you find anything cheaper on Black Friday, you can swap it. We sat down for dinner one night. It was the Sunday night or something. Stace goes, there's a fridge, which is only 20 or 30 liters less, which is nothing in fridge terms. And it's like $400 cheaper. We basically have tonight to do it only. And so we just, we sussed it out right there and then. And we have not seen this fridge in person until this moment right here. And it actually is legit. It's For how much was it? It was like 800 and something dollars. I think it was like 800 bucks. It was a mad sale, incredible sale. I just found that we have an ice twister. Yeah, it's the little things. Look. Oh, Twist it, it baby. Shh. Shh. Ice, ice, boo boo. Whoa, that's the good one. Mm. 